now time to bring Jesse James through an NFL style workout. I want to show you this super cool add-on for Final Cut Pro. It's called Design Studio by Motion VFX. If you guys go down in the description, you will be able to find the link to Design Studio where you can learn a little bit more about the actual add-on for Final Cut Pro. They have 4,000 plus top quality elements and their library is constantly growing at your fingertips. It's AI based captions tool for Final Cut Pro. So you can create subtitles in 90 plus languages and in 50 styles in seconds. And all of these elements are easy, quick and drag and drop. All right, so once you have downloaded M extension and have it installed, what you want to do is first, you can see I have the M extension already pulled up, but you're probably not going to have that. So I'm going to go ahead and close this window and show you where to install it. So first you can, of course, resize your Final Cut Pro window. It's probably going to look like this. So what you want to do is you're going to click on this little puzzle icon and you're going to click on it and it's going to bring up the extensions and it's going to be the M captions and the M extension. So when you first download it, M extension, it asks you if you wanted to install M captions by all means do it it's absolutely awesome i'll show you m captions a little bit towards the end of this video but i'm gonna go to the m extension and i'm gonna click on this and a new window will appear and i already have it sized to the window that i want it to be so you're gonna force click and drag to resize this window however you want and then you can do the same thing for final cut pro once you have it in your desired location you can go over to window at the top go down to workspaces and you can see i already have one named motion vfx what you want to do is click on save workspace as and this will save the layout of Final Cut Pro along with the M extension window exactly where you have it so you don't have to reposition all of the windows all over again every single time you use Final Cut Pro. I'm going to click on Motion VFX again. You can see it brings up everything exactly how you want it. So here you can see I have a music video in the timeline that I want to add a transition to. And right now it's pretty simple. So we're going to use the transition from the collection under here. It's called the M transition whip cut. And before I get into that, I want to show you this M extension application. It's super, super cool. So you can either browse by a theme, like I mentioned uh, earlier, you can do cinematic, YouTube, music video, sport, and so, so much more. And if you go down under all collections, you have all of those in here. So you don't have to leave the application whatsoever. It eliminates all of that. So you can work in an instant and it makes your workflow 10 times better. I'm not gonna go through them too much in detail. So in this case, I'm working on a music video. So I'm gonna type in music video and it shows you collections that match that term. In this case, the keyword music video, and it shows you collections. You have M transition music video. If you click on that, it shows you more details on that one. We have M music video two. If you open that one, it shows you a whole bunch of other ones. As you can see here, this one shows you title for camera movements, overlay effects, and all of these collections are inspired by I Justine, MKBHD, Peter Lindgren, and YC Imaging. So shouts to them. They did a fantastic job working with motion VFX on these whip cut. So I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to expand to show all of these and the ones that are highlighted in purple show you the ones that have been downloaded already. So in this case, I've already downloaded these and you can see this icon like this infinity symbol shows you that it's a transition and you drag it in between two video clips. So you want to make sure you click and drag and let go in between those two clips. And if you push play, it shows you the effect here. That's the first one. Here is the other one. So let go and you're done. Of course, you might want to let this render through so it plays back smoothly. So just go to modify and render selection and play it back. And there you go. And of course, this just works just like a regular transition, except you just have it here so you can easily drag and drop all of these elements in a matter of seconds and again you have another one this is my favorite one here so if i drag and drop and push play you're done and the cool thing is that most of these have on-screen control so you can click and drag and customize all of these so that it's fully customizable you know you can rotate these Now we're in the YouTube theme category of this video. And let's say you're a YouTuber and you want to like, let's say you do product reviews and stuff like that, like MKBHD. In this case, we have the iPhone 16 and I give it a quick little description of what it is and it's trackable. So the trackable ones are super cool. And you can kind of notice that I actually masked this out. That's a separate plugin called the Mroto AI. I made a bunch of videos on that. Check out my YouTube page if you want to see how to uh, mask out certain things from a video. If you're working with music videos, it's super, super cool. And I'm going to go down to the M workspace in this collection. And I'm going to go over to the add-ons. So you can see it's a title. So this goes directly above your video. And I'm going to add this one here, which is in purple that I've already downloaded. And you're going to notice that you're going to see a little target icon in the top right corner of this little box that shows you that it's a trackable element. And again, this is only in the professional plan that you can track, you know, elements in your video. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag this once I've downloaded this, and I'm gonna just press Command B to split the clip and I want it to be about this long. I want to customize this, so I'm gonna move this over here and I'm gonna go into the inspector window, just like you normally do in Final Cut Pro. And you're gonna see a couple of uh, different buttons though. First, you have animation in and out. You wanna make sure that you have these first checked, otherwise you have to retrack your tracking points. So I like it when it animates in and how it animates out. So I'm going to have those two boxes checked. If you uncheck them, they will not animate in. It just pops up and pops out. I highly recommend having those checked in before you track. And if you want to track them, click on the tracker toolbar and this will bring up the on-screen control where you can track this. So I'm going to track backwards because I want to track this sensor area on the iPhone. I'm going to go one frame to the left and move this box here right over that here. Okay just like that and I'm going to track backwards and a new window will appear showing you that it's tracking this sensor on this iPhone and there's 148 frames that it has to track. All right, so it's almost done. There you go. It just finished and now you can see it's completely tracked. So if I push play, it's tracking the iPhone. Now I want to kind of reposition this. So how do you do that? Well, you just want to zoom out to the full window so you can see the on-screen control. Move it to your desired location. And I'm gonna go back and make sure I have the fill checked because I want to fill this so I can read this better. Here we go, so bar fill, I'm gonna have that box checked and I'm gonna reposition this and I wanna make this bigger, click and drag and you can rotate it with this little inner circle. And now if I go back and push play, it's gonna track just like that, super cool. And if you wanna change the text, you just click on one of these elements, you know, like instead of it saying recommended, uh, storage, space and here we can type in i'm going to type in 256 but the cool thing is that if you have the mroto ai as a standalone application if you already have that you can just add this to the video so we just duplicate the bottom clip drag it above this one here and you would go to the mroto ai and add that onto your clip and you would go to let's say the maybe the end actually and i'm going to track or paint in the area that I want to mask out, in this case, his hand and the iPhone. And I'm gonna track, click on tracker and track backwards, and this will track backwards. Okay, it just finished tracking, so I'm gonna go back here, and I'm gonna switch the output to mass video, and then now we can see that the clip is in front. So it, you just have a different look and it looks super, super sick. So you can do something like that if you really wanted to. But like, again, there's a whole bunch of really cool elements in this particular collection in the M works. Here is the M caption, and this one is super, super awesome. So if I go back and I push play, so you guys can see what it is. All right, it is now time to bring Jesse James through an NFL style workout. So you can see it adds captions immediately to your uh, clips and you don't have to leave Final Cut Pro whatsoever. And that's the cool thing about this. So I'm gonna delete what I've added here. And here's the original clip. All right, it is now time to bring Jesse James through an NFL style workout. It's a little slow because I'm recording this as well. If you click on this little puzzle icon, it will bring up the options of bringing up the M captions. So click on M captions and it's going to bring up a new window. I'm gonna close this other one here. So first you wanna make sure you have a clip with audio in it. So I just highly recommend having a clip that you only wanna add captions to, and it's this one clip, and it's in its own project called Workout. So I'm gonna go all the way up here, and you can see Workout, it's its own project. And the way this works is you would drag this project into here. It's going to select the Workout project, so then you have the option of selecting the language. So you can just select the language that they're speaking, in this case, English. The resolution, it will automatically select it based off your project settings. Here you can adjust the, the settings. So you can change the font. So I'm gonna change the font to Archivo Black. You can change the size. You can make it really big or really small. The text width is how many lines of text are going to be shown at a single time. I'm gonna do something like uh, this. So three words, position Y controls the position of up and down. I want it kind of like maybe right here. If you go into more settings, you can do word by word. So it will go literally word by word. You can uncheck that if you want it to go all at once. You can do animation in and animation out. If you just, if you kind of want it to kind of come in smoothly, I like to have those checked. That looks pretty good, but you can uncheck them if you don't want them. You have lowercase if you want all of them to be lowercase. You can do all uppercase. You can also hide punctuation. Here you have the option of doing one line or two lines. So you can see there's two lines. I'm gonna do one line and you can change the color. I'm gonna leave it on red. And here you have 
a whole bunch of really cool styles. So you have 50 plus styles and 90 different languages that you can select. You can of course also select them in certain categories. So you can do basic, cinematic, karaoke, music video, and social media. Once you're happy with all of your settings, you're gonna click on analyze audio, and then it's going to analyze your audio. So now it says drag from here. So you click and drag this directly above your timeline. Move it right above our timeline at the very beginning. So if you need to, you can just move this over like that. So I'm gonna go back here and push play. All right, it is now time to bring Jesse James through an NFL style workout. And it did an excellent job of analyzing the audio using AI, which is amazing. You can do it all in a single click and you're done. So this also works in a vertical mode. You would just, of course, change your project settings to a vertical. It will change it here for resolution. You can also type it in here as well if you want. That's a really, really cool thing about the M captions. I highly recommend you try it out. Link is, of course, in the description for all of this. That's the M captions. And Design Studio comes in two plans. There's the Essentials and Professional. The Essentials gives you access to thousands of elements and they're constantly growing with new elements. And of course, they'll be added every month. And of course, the M captions and Professional includes the all essentials plus more. So you get exclusive collections designed with famous YouTubers. Like I mentioned earlier, MKBHD, I Justine, Peter Lindgren, and YC Imaging. There's 750 plus trackable elements and 100 plus freeze frame effects. So you can try it for free for 14 days before you decide to subscribe and standalone products are still supported. Also, if you own or plan to buy standalone motion design packs for motion VFX, don't worry, they will still support them in the same way they support plugins that are part of the Cine Studio. And their awesome support team is ready to help you with any problems. And if you found this video helpful, consider leaving a like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you you don't miss out on a video just like this.